President Biden's meeting with congressional leaders on the debt ceiling impasse yielding little progress. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy saying there was no new movement while railing against uh, the president's continued insistence on a clean debt ceiling increase. And the big four are set to reconvene uh, with the president on Friday as the threat of default uh, looms over the economy. Joining us now is Jake Sherman, Punchbowl News, Punch Bowl News a founder. He's also an NBC um, News and MSNBC contributor. About what you thought yesterday, Jake, we talked to you yesterday. I, 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 it was the first foray. It's been 90 days since the, the speaker first met with him, so you wait 90 days. This is the first, um, you know, you get back together, and this is what we come away with. They're meeting again on Friday. More progress on Friday, you figure? Well, I don't, I don't figure that, to be honest with you. So the staff will meet. What, we, what I said yesterday would be a success if the staff was meeting this week. And I think we got that locked up. But I, I talked to a lot of the staff yesterday. They don't even really know what they're meeting about in the sense that Biden continues to call for a clean debt ceiling increase, as does Chuck Schumer, and a separate negotiation on the budget. And Kevin McCarthy and, and Mitch McConnell have the exact opposite point of view. So they're going to spend the next two days talking and then they're going to get back in a room on Friday. And, and Joe, here's the scary thing, I would say. The, the meeting, which we reported a bunch of in, in Punchbowl News this morning, was not very different from the public kind of acrimonious back and forth between McCarthy, Biden, Schumer, McConnell, and Hakeem Jeffries, the House Democratic leader. So, you know, McCarthy told me yesterday that he needs a deal in principle by next week or else this is good. we're going to go past June 1st. A deal in principle by next week um, seems charitably very far off at the moment, um, considering they're not even sure what they're talking about right now. No, I know. I, the, no one's really specifically saying what it would look like. To, I mean, you could say it's a clean deal and, and say that, but we're including these spending cuts. I mean, you could say that. That's what it's going to have to be, because yeah. there's going to have to be negotiation. That's the only way it's going to do it. I don't know who's advising yeah. the president on whether he, I mean, he, he I, I, did you say yesterday he was a deal maker? That was a long time ago uh, because he doesn't. Long time ago. Yes, that really was a long time like, ago. What does a clean raise look like at this point? So McCarthy would have to, to do a clean, to put it in the, because uh, Schumer can't do it. So McCarthy would have to do it. He's not going to get a lot of, of Republicans uh, that don't want to do it. So he'd have to get a bunch of Democrats on board. Right. And then it would have to come to Schumer. And it, how's Schumer going to get those 43 Republicans that, that aren't going to do that? How's he going to get? How do you do a clean debt raise at this point? It's impossible. A, ba a basic clean debt ceiling increase will not pass and would be chaos. That would be just a standalone clean debt ceiling is, is well, dead on arrival. If someone if told, he, can you call, do you have a line into President Biden? Does he know I, this? I don't have a line. Does he I don't know, know if this? he knows it. I don't know if he knows it. What Schumer is banking on, Joe, is that McConnell will somehow move Senate Republicans to a clean debt ceiling increase, and then House Republicans would follow. Now, I just want to add one more caveat. The only way something like this would work, and I, I suspect this is what we'll see at the end of the day, if, if there is a deal, what will happen, I think, is the House will pass the deal, the Senate will pass it, Biden will sign it, and then they'll raise the debt ceiling in a clean way. That's an escape hatch for Democrats. So basically pass the deal and then do a clean debt ceiling increase, which is not a clean debt ceiling increase. But no, I, I mean, I don't see any situation before June 15th or something like that where a clean debt ceiling could pass. And even then, I have serious questions about whether uh, it could pass the Senate, it could pass the House. And if it did pass the House, whether McCarthy could keep his speakership and whether he'd even put it on the floor, quite frankly. Yesterday, you saw the, you know, both sides, and they, it was kind of interesting because they were, they were speaking to the, <laughs> they were speaking at the same time, and, and the cable news services had to switch from uh, Speaker McCarthy, and then the president started speaking. But it was a little frustrating for me, anyway, Jake. When, when I hear, all right, so the previous. The president increased the debt 40 percent. There was COVID. There was COVID. And that I, President Biden says, I came in and lowered the deficit 1.7 trillion. And cut it. from the 4 trillion from the pit, it's all just sophistry, Jake. None of it's true. It may be factually true, but it's just so loaded with so much spin and, and misleading 
uh, innuendo that we're getting nowhere. And, and I don't know, I guess the other side will listen to McCarthy and say, yo, listen to him, he was, you know, he raised, it's not true that there were three clean raises during Trump. There was a lot of negotiations uh, with Speaker Pelosi uh, and, and uh, Mnuchin back then. So they, they say that too. And, and they just keep saying the same things over and over again, many of which are, are either misleading or not true. Yeah, well, listen, when, when uh, Mnuchin, Pelosi, and Trump effectively raised the debt ceiling the last time, I think it was the last time, they increased spending. So the deal was not to cut spending, it was to increase spending. So <laughs> that was a bit of a difference. Um, yeah, but uh, they, it wasn't clean. It was not clean. And actually, to be honest with you, Joe, uh, I've been covering Congress for a while, and most of the debt ceilings that I've seen have not been clean. I mean, some of them have been. But remember, 2011 was a was probably retrospectively the Boehner Obama talks. That was some of the biggest deficit reduction we've ever seen. That was, you know, a, a huge deficit reduction package that Congress eventually undid later on. But no, in modern times, the debt ceiling is typically raised with negotiations. I mean, yes, in the past it wasn't this pressure valve that it had been. So, but so that's not, in the past. A lot of things are true, right?